Hey Internet, it's your guy, the Hobby Drifter here. Just got something here in the mail I'm really excited for. Um, I'm going to do a little unboxing video, get a full review video up in, in the uh, near future. But for right now, I just wanted to get a quick look at this thing. First impressions. I don't know why I'm trying to be, you know, coy about what it is. You've seen the, you know, the, the title. Assuming that anyone's actually clicking on this or looking at titles. But anyway, so, you know what this is. It's supposed to be, you know, Masterpiece 44 Convoy 3.0 slash Optimus Prime slash whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know. It's from Amazon. Um, I got this for the equivalent of 341 U.S. dollars, which is, jeez, but it's also, I think, the lowest price that, you know, you could possibly get this for. Um, maybe they messed it up. Maybe, maybe there's like a spatula in here or something. I don't know. Uh, let's, uh, let's get this thing open and take a look. Okay. The, uh, the smashed up box does kind of worry me a little bit. But we'll we'll see how it goes. Okay, all right. Ooh, ooh, yes, yeah. Oh, there it is. Aren't you pretty? Aren't you pretty? Difficult to get out of here because you're taped. You're taped into the the box. All right. All this all this time I've spent selling stuff on eBay. You know, I've I've bought packing material. I used to pack my, my stuff with, uh, with Japanese snacks, which was cheaper and I think probably appreciated by at least a few people, you know, who bought from me. Turns out I couldn't just, you know, take it to the bottom of the box. Oh, that is a pretty, pretty box, everybody. Very pretty box. Um, you know, should be a pretty box. It's a very, very expensive that's a bit of tap. Okay, okay. So let's uh, let's get this thing out of here. Ooh, it is not wanting to come out of here. There we go. Yes. Get rid of the box. Move the box over. My cats are gonna have a good old time with that. Oh, look at this beautiful thing. It is very nice, very pretty. Um, I want to say it's smaller than the box for uh, Convoy 2.0. Definitely smaller than that, you know, monstrosity that was Masterpiece 4. Which, by the way, the first Masterpiece Transformer I bought after moving to Japan in 2006. Um, very pretty. Notice the, the lack of the white stripe um, mirroring the... First appearance of Convoy, or Optimus Prime. Uh, I, I don't like this. <laughs> I, I don't like the lack of the, the white stripe. I know it's anime accurate. Not digging it. Uh, not, not, not gonna lie, did not buy this for the vehicle mode. Do not really um, care. Hey, cat! Hey, Andy. Hey, Andy, you're on YouTube. Say hello. Say hello. Oh, no. Okay, so let's see, there's the front. Your standard uh, MP44. This thing is uh, ridiculously expensive. It has a 50,000 yen uh, MSRP. So people who absolutely need to have every number are, are not going to uh, necessarily be super happy with this. There we go. The uh, sides. Sides of the box. Pretty. Very pretty. Very pretty. Wide side. Ooh, very nice. Uh, very nice picture of the vehicle mode. I'm uh, pretty happy about this because <laughs> if uh, pre-release pictures have been any indication, this thing is not going to be seeing vehicle mode uh, often or maybe even at all. So we will see about that. Check out the back of the box. We got a very large wall of text which uh, I'm not going to translate right now, but keep your eyes open for the official review. The hype package here with all the different poses you can get out of there. Not really hiding the uh, ridiculously huge backpack uh, at all. Maybe they're going to play it off like it's uh, Sideswipe's flight pack. That would be a thing. Kitty. Hi, Kitty. Hello, Andy. 
Um, yeah, it shows it comes with uh, several different faces. Uh, the original, the uh, square head, it says, the round head, the damage head, and the Starscream head, which I, I do know a couple of Starscream collectors who uh, saw the that this was included and just kind of went, oh, well, that is an annoyingly mandatory purchase. Here we got the uh, the scale with the other Masterpiece figures. Uh, looks like the uh, the turret comes out this time to make its own little little thing. So let's uh, let's get this thing open and take a look at what is inside. Got my my trusty scissors here to get this thing open. Eventually, I'll probably just remove the tape completely and. Uh, by the way, there was a time, there was a, a very long stretch of time when uh, Transformer figures... Andy, this is this is not a great time for this. What you want? Uh, you want attention. Hey, Andy. Hey, Andy. Hey, Andy. No one's going to watch this video. It's okay. It's okay. Please stop. Please stop destroying my wall. Andy, come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay. So, yeah, there was a, uh, a very long stretch of time where Transformer figures... Uh, had no tape on, on the boxes, just because, um, you know, it wasn't really an issue. I want to say it was back around 2006-ish uh, that I started to notice these things showing up. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, Andy, don't don't you quote me. Don't you quote me, Andy. Yeah, I, this, this little stream of consciousness should give you some idea of how many people are, I'm expecting to watch this video. But I just wanted to get it out there. All right, uh, less cat, more tat. Let's see what we got in the box. What's in the box? What is in the box? Oh, 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 oh you beauty. Oh, look at that. It ships in freaking vehicle mode. That is a less than welcome surprise. That is uh, not at all what I wanted to see uh, greeting me when I got this thing out of here. But let's just go through it. What we got here, we got the, uh, the square head. I'm sorry, no, this is the uh, the round head. The battle damaged movie head, Starscream. Uh, looks like, wow, actually really nicely articulated uh, spike spark plug and carly figures uh, a matrix that looks very similar to the one in uh uh masterpiece 10 which oh my god 10 10 it's been 34 releases since the release of uh the last the last convoy last optimus prime oh wow there's the uh the star screen parts the little uh flanges a couple of uh ion blast pieces which you'd I think this is the first time we've had effect parts in a uh, Masterpiece Transformer, or at least in a Masterpiece Convoy. Uh, the, the turret bit. Uh, looks like some uh, battle damage, a red red bit here. Not not entirely sure what that is yet. Uh, okay, the uh, the gasoline pump for for roller. That roller over here. The incredibly bland and boring trailer which is absolutely what is uh, jacking the price of this thing up to 50,000 yen at retail so yeah if you're gonna go and you're gonna buy this thing from Toys R Us you're gonna buy this thing from uh, uh, Yodobashi camera yeah you're probably gonna be looking at a 50,000 yen price tag uh, if that's not true Yodobashi Toys R Us and anyone sees this video please do not sue me and we got the rocket pack so I guess the giant backpack that we've heard of is uh, is not just played off as the rocket pack. Uh, there's a, a little clear bit here, which I don't know what that is. And now here we've got the iconic uh, ion rifle. So uh, let's uh, take a quick break here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open this thing up and actually take a look at all the stuff that's inside. Uh, so real quick, let me flip this over. Do notice, do notice, um, not 
a whole lot of uh, irritating plastic ties holding this thing in here, which I am very, very grateful for. I do not like dealing with any of that at all. Uh, I, I, the only time I really keep boxes when I can use it for storage, and this actually does look like it's going to be pretty good for storage. So, uh, yeah, let me take a quick break. I'll be back with a, uh, a hands-on look at it. All right, so we got the uh, the plastic cover off of this thing. The plastic coffin lid has been removed. It is held on by no less than 10 pieces of tape that you do have to remove almost entirely or else they will fall down and reattach to the thing, making it just a chore to open. First thing I want to do before I start getting into all of this is take a look at the scale. Um, had I known that this was going to ship in vehicle mode, which... Just, when does that happen? I don't... I don't think any of the, the previous Optimus Prime's masterpieces have shipped in vehicle mode. Uh, really a little bit uh, nervous about that because I, I have seen some, uh, some uh, early pictures of just how the transformation on this thing works. And I, I, don't, I don't want to have to throw it up on eBay as just a, a hunk of parts um, to, to get it out of my life if I, if I fail spectacularly at this. Um, so, let's real quick take a look at the scale. Uh, I had my, my uh, MP10 transformed into robot mode, uh, anticipating this thing shipping in robot mode. Um, so, uh, I wanted to get a quick look at the scale. Can't do that right away with the whole, you know, uh, robot mode versus vehicle mode thing, since I've heard that this thing basically transforms like the uh, Transformium characters in Age of Extinction. A uh, little, little joke for the, the those of you who've watched that movie all the way through, and I'm, I'm just, I'm so sorry. Uh, but I do, I do have the trailer. Finally, one of these trailers is good for something. Uh, let's take a look at the scale of the the, the trailers, and they look uh, about the same. The uh, MP44 trailer is almost exactly as wide, almost exactly as tall. Uh, makes sense since this is supposed to be in scale with the other Masterpiece figures and that was the uh, the entire point of Masterpiece 10. Um, so yeah, no, not hugely bigger, not not a whole lot smaller. Uh, just just about about the same. Um, just in case you're wondering how much space you're gonna have to devote to the piece of this figure that you are never ever ever going to display or do anything with. Um, so, yeah, let's get in here. We've got the trailer. It is a really, really authentic shade of gray. This is not silver. This is not gunmetal. There's just a hint of uh, reflective uh, color to it. It is very basic. It is very much what you see in uh, More Than Meets the Eye. Um... It's, you can see the, the comparison between the, the silver and the gray. Here's MP10 and MP44. Much, much darker. Much darker in color. Um, I do not care for the all-white stripe. Again, I know it's anime accurate, uh, but I also don't care about the trailer at all, so, hey, whatever. I'm, I'm here for robot mode. Uh, open it up and... Since the, the turret and everything come out, it is completely empty. You can just stick your, your whole whole hand in there. Um, looks like it, yeah, it opens up into just a really, uh, really basic thing. Um, super, super basic. Kind of cool. Uh, these parts do, do flip down to, uh, you know do do stuff. Uh, Alright, well there's, there's the trailer. Cool. Got your, your ion blaster here. 
Uh, looks like this doesn't fold up. This isn't as flimsy as the one on uh, MP10. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I haven't looked at the instructions. haven't looked at the early reviews to see if uh, this does fold up and store somewhere in the robot mode. I also don't know. Uh, but I mean, it's it's huge compared to here's here's the MP10 one with the weird flippy thing. This does have some joints on it, so I guess probably stows away somewhere. Uh, I, I do like how this is. I'm glad they stopped making it light gray with like blue tints or whatever they were doing with the the original masterpiece Prime. Um, so yeah, this this is very very pretty. Also very kind of out of focus. Sorry. Um, yeah, that's, that's cool. Uh, Sideswipes Rocket Pack, which really goes along. I mean, I'm sure that, you know, th this was going to be in there. This has been in, in with, uh, the, the weird little mini Masterpiece Prime. This shows up occasionally. Uh, I could basically guarantee that the entire point of this thing is just have some excuse for that backpack that's going to be on on the robot mode of this guy. Um, a strikingly nice uh, gas hose for roller. It's, uh, geez, I think this is long, like a longer cable than came with the uh, the Famicom Mini. This is, yeah, nice, nice rubber. Very nice build. Very feels very, very sturdy. Does not feel cheap at all. Um, I, I I don't know. I I I I like this. I I like this bit. I like how how nice this is. This is really cool. Um here is a little clear thingy. I don't know, have not looked at the instructions yet. I'm guessing this is gonna be for like uh displaying it in some kind of fashion. Uh I don't know quote me on this if you're watching this after release day and you know I'm wrong you know laugh at me in the comments uh, some battle damage uh, looks like just from the shape of it it looks like the uh, the uh, battle damage part from where uh, op took one in the side from Megatron in uh, Transformers the movie um, very well detailed, very very nice paint applications on this thing. Um, I don't think that the previously released Masterpiece Megatron comes with the piece of metal that he stabbed Optimus with, so is 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 this a teaser for another Masterpiece Megatron? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, get the rumor mill started, call up call up Sabertron or TFW, see what's, uh, what's going on with that. Uh, this this piece really interests me. Uh, this is usually just a chunk of the trailer. Of course, you know, the, the satellite dish and the, the claw. Um, I, I do like it, the, the joints are not too stiff. The joints are not uh, too floppy. There's no ratcheting here, but it, it has a, a nice feel to it. Uh, I'm guessing, yeah, you probably put one of the human characters in here if you wanted to do that. I uh, don't think this thing really ever saw a whole lot of play in the in the show. Um, again, I think it was just the one one or two episodes. Uh, don't don't quote me. Uh, tires. The tires are solid plastic on this, and uh, the the missiles do pop out to get your your show and and toy accurate. You know, uh, look to them. Don't think they did that with MP10. Although, hey, uh, live moment of the video. Maybe they did, and I just did. I never noticed. Let's uh, let's take a look. And uh, uh, no, 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 they did not. Okay, good. Would have been kind of, and this is actually way, way bigger. By the way, here's here is the MP10 version. And here's MP44. It's like much, much bigger, uh, which is oh, it's cool. I'm I'm into this. I, I like that they did that. Um, tried to stay very uh, slavish to the uh, the original anime, but did something new. 
Um, we got the, uh, the blaster parts for the uh, hand blaster. Uh, not sure why there are two of them. Uh, they look to be just about identical. These feel weird. These don't feel like your usual, like, th these don't feel soft. I mean, like the, uh, the axe on, uh, MP10 where it's, it's soft and gummy like. These, 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 these are solid. These, um, <laughs> I, I, if the, if this comes to the U.S., I, I don't foresee this coming out. This is, you would, you would put your eye out, kid. I mean, this is, uh. Yeah, this <laughs> this would be a hazard. Um, it's very very cool though. You can kind of see the little divider here, which I'm not super super keen on, but uh, I'm probably not going to be displaying them like this anyway. Uh, we got the the Star Scream back piece, so that when you're displaying him for about two seconds as the uh, Star Scream in disguise figure. Um, from that one episode of, of G1, you can, you can have that and be, be accurate. I mean, with, with the inclusion of this, does this mean this is technically a Starscream figure? Because it's not Optimus cosplaying as Starscream. It is Starscream cosplaying as, you know, Optimus Prime. So, I mean, technically this is like Masterpiece 44S Starscream-ish? Maybe? Okay, we got uh, we got the Matrix, which I know this thing was kind of sold as being uh, the original uh, anime accurate, but you know this was never seen pre pre movie. Uh, doesn't open again. Um, the Matrix is solid colored, and it's got a nice nice blue. Nice blue uh, paint paint job on it. There's the handle is chrome. You can't can't put the fingers in there. It's all one piece uh, made of metal. Um, okay, you yeah, know, always uh, always nice to have another matrix. Uh, make sure the leadership that we only ever saw Optimus hold while uh, while he was dying, or that one time in uh, Return when he was. Uh, Taking it back. Uh, and we got the uh, Energon Axe. The Energon Axe. Um, smaller. Smaller than the, the version that came with MP10, which is fine because this thing is just freaking huge. Um, yeah, pointy. Pointy. You could, you could do some damage with this. Um, again, uh, very hard. Hard plastic. It's not the soft, gummy texture of this. Um, it's, uh, it's 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 weird to to see stuff like this because you always get the the energy axe. I mean, Optimus used this for about twenty seconds in one episode of the uh, the Transformers cartoon, and you don't see like other other stuff from the from the cartoon showing. I mean, you you, you do in this one. You get your Star Scream and your uh, things like that nature, but I mean, like you don't you don't see Optimus coming with like a basketball, or you know, things like that. But you always get always get the energy axe, so yeah, nice to have it. it. It's very pretty, very pretty. What do you think, Andy? Very pretty. Please don't eat it. Please don't eat this thing. You just not give it your own little. Oh, Andy, if you just you know not give it your own personal uh, bite marks, like he he does. He likes to give likes to give bite. Love bites to, to some of my more expensive collectibles, which is fine. You know, you get a you, you get a cat and you realize, okay, well, my stuff's not going to be safe. Um, Carly, very very pretty. Um, you got the uh, the swivel joints on the uh, torso. Uh, doesn't look as as weirdly proportioned. Like th this actually has really nice articulation. It's got uh, the the hip joints, shoulders. Uh, doesn't look like head, and then, uh, like a waist swivel. That's, uh, that, that's impressive for this tiny little thing. Compare her to the, uh, the Spike 
from MP10. Um, I don't know, she's, she's around the same size. You know, cute couple. Um, and, you know, we got, uh, we got Spike. His yellow hard head is, you know, looks like Bob the Builder. So if you got, if you got them both, you got, uh, these guys. It's not quite as chunky as the original Spike. Um, it's yeah, nice to have. More human figures in Transformers, always nice. And what looks like, I think, I think this might be the first, uh, the first official spark plug figure. Um, never did figure out what happened to him after uh, Transformers the movie. There's always all, all those rumors like, oh, you know, laser beak killed him in a deleted scene or whatever. No, they just they get rid of him. He wasn't wasn't needed anymore. Looks like he's got uh, looks like uh, Spike and uh, Spark plug have magnets in their back. Not so for Carly. Uh, it's cool. Nice to have more human figures to uh, hide in the trailer. And we got so we got roller very oh wow this feels nice this feels great uh, this roller uh, very nice plastic again it's it's a, a a duller plastic but not 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 the shiny plastic from uh, MP10 uh, almost exactly the same size so, uh, completely different mold you know no no reused parts or anything. You can see the difference in the wheels. You got the the, the nice rims. Uh, that sound you hear is Andy playing with the uh, Amazon shipping box for uh, for this guy. You know, cats uh, cats they love their boxes. Um, cool. It's, I don't know. Like it just it feels very nice. You got, you got the the opening opening hood, which is cool. Another another movable part in a hundred years. I'm sure people will be selling this this piece because kids who who got this five hundred dollar toy somehow um, yeah lost it. It's gonna happen. Quote me. Uh, the heads. Uh, what might very well be the uh, nicest Starscream head uh, I have I've ever personally seen. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, open in the back here. Uh, just, uh, just a one. Got the smirks. Got everything. This is this is a gorgeous, gorgeous star screen. Uh, the eyes are uh, painted with reflective red, uh, not not chrome, but like red reflective paint. Uh, just, just a joy. I'm, I'm really into this. Probably uh, won't sell that bit. To uh, recoup a couple of bucks, that seems to be what people are doing now. Oh wow, this. Um, okay, I want to say I I was wrong about this this uh, battle damaged head. I thought it was the uh, damage from the movie, but as I get it closer to me, it looks like um, it looks more like the damage done from. Uh, Trying to get this in focus here. Uh, from uh, Dark Awakening. Yeah, definitely looks more more Dark Awakening-ish than from Transformers the movie. That, that's cool. Uh, Dark Awakening is, is my favorite uh, G1 Transformers episode. Uh, <laughs> this, this, the, the, the uh, ears here, uh, they, they do not move. There's no, there's even, there's even some damage in the back, uh, molded battle damage. Uh, th these are not going to survive very often. Uh, if you're, if you're going to buy one of these used, you're definitely going to want to check out if these, if these are, are damaged. These, oh, that is not safe at all. Uh, okay. Then we got another head. This is the so-called round head from, uh... The probably more like G one season two or towards the end of season one, and it's it's got the uh, part of the face mask where it's kind of folded. It meets in the middle. It's more like an angular shape. Um, very cool. Very very cool. Uh, again, it's got the, the the reflective blue eyes. 
uh, does not have that that sinister look, uh, the more angular sinister look uh, that MP10 did. Uh, much much softer, much much friendlier. Uh, the eyes aren't set back in the head. Um, looks looks very friendly. It's a friendly head. And then last last but I mean not least the the main event as it were. Uh, the actual, the, the, the transformer, the main part, uh, I, I can already see that you can't really see through the windows, which I absolutely love. I, I hate those clear windows on, uh, previous Masterpiece, uh, releases. You got the, the clear windows on the sides. Um, obviously it's just, it's, you know, a robot folded up into a truck. This is never going to fool anybody. Um, but it's got the, the more accurate... Autobot symbol. It's not the 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 thing where they uh, have like the you know badge. This looks like it did uh, in the original animation. That is a really cool touch. I did not expect them to to go through with that. Um, got the the accurate reflectors on the back. This, I mean the side back. I mean this looks way more like a truck than any previous. Uh, Optimus Prime did. Uh, so I'm gonna take a quick break, see if I can get this thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get this thing uh, into robot mode, and then we will take a look at it. Okay, just real quick, I want to take a look at the paperwork. Uh, not a whole lot of paperwork. Looks like just the instructions and the trading card, which again, <laughs> the trading card. You you know there are, there are folks with you know a binder full of the trading cards that have come with previous masterpiece figures, and they've just been like, oh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna complete all of these. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a nice little set, and then the, you know they they spring this on you. It's, oh, it's fifty thousand yen. And, okay, well, how, how badly do I need a card if I don't need another uh, Optimus Prime figure? So, yeah, here's here's the card. It's very pretty. Uh, I'm not super sold on how difficult it is to read Masterpiece here. Um, Convoy version 3.0. Cool to see that. They have been kind of rebranding Convoy as Optimus Prime for the last ten years or so. Um, got, got your stats, 10, 10, 8, 10. Um, it's a nice, nice card. I, I don't collect, I did collect the, uh, the, the Encore cards. Uh, so I, I did wind up going back and buying a bunch of Encore figures that I, I didn't really want just to get the cards. Um, but those were really, really cheap on the secondary market for a little while, so it wasn't quite so bad. And then we've got the, the instruction booklet, which is very pretty, uh, a little bit smaller than comic book size. And uh, let's see, you got got your checklist of, of stuff that comes with it, uh, the, the story of Convoy. Um, it's in black and white, which I'm not, I'm not happy about. I have the hardest time following some of these instructions, uh, obviously all, all in Japanese. Um, I, I do wish this had been in color. Uh, looks like uh, 8 steps, 31 steps, 55 steps. Uh, 75. Se 75 steps in the transformation from vehicle mode to robot mode. Which, oh, oh, oh wow. If, if, I, if I've grown like a insanity beard from the time I, I finished this, I, I apologize. Um... Also shows uh, where you can put the uh, the batteries in here. So it takes three button cell batteries, LR44. Um, not not sure if those are included or not. Um, yeah, and then we got your laser rifle, energy axe, the Matrix, which uh, cool shot here from Return of Optimus Prime. Uh, you got some stuff about Roller and all the different stuff he can do. Ah, oh, looks like uh, yeah, roller can combine with the uh, the turret. 
which is that's that's kind of cool. All the different stuff that you can do with uh, with roller and the trailer and the so-called combat deck and the control tower special anti-aircraft gun. I kept calling it the turret. I was saying it wrong. Um, all the different stuff that you can do with the figures. Uh, I, I missed that the figures, like much like Microman uh, and Diaclone, had, uh, they, do, they have uh, magnets in their feet and there are magnets all around the uh, trailer so that they can more easily stand up, which is nice because previous human figures uh, did, not, did not want to stand up at all. Uh, different configurations, including this one from the original toy instructions with the uh, anti-aircraft gun sticking out of the trailer. A whole lot more stuff you can do with the anti-aircraft gun and the trailer. Including stick it up Johnny Five style out of the uh, vertical trailer. Uh, if, if you ever see anyone who's got this thing displayed like this, um, that that is a hardcore fan, people. Like that 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 shows dedication that you've that you've done that. That's genuinely impressive. Uh, maintenance dock, which I don't think we've ever seen. Uh, in any kind of fiction except like the instruction manuals that he's, he's being being worked on um, it's kind of cool you know carries around uh, it's like Optimus carries around his own little uh, you know comfy chair with him you know just you know I got I got some I got some spare time I'm gonna I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some maintenance you guys you know go go do what you gotta do I'm just gonna chill for a bit it's fun all right so then we've got the uh, and I, I will probably translate all this um, for the the full video. This is just my thoughts on this, which is weird because I know this is now you know, twenty plus minutes long. Um, so we've got the uh, the round head, which was uh, you know shown in the uh, the TV anime. Uh, Andy, you know what? Uh, in case you're wondering what that sound was, Andy just uh, took out Judge Dredd, which is uh, you know. That's fun. That's you know, feather in his cap. Uh, so we got the the round the round head, uh, the uh, the damaged head and damaged waist. Which, yeah, uh, I called it. That was from from Dark Awakening here. Uh, so cool that that's 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 a thing. Uh, the Star Scream head and Star Scream intake, which I was calling them flanges or something. So yeah, the head and intake, and the rocket booster from. 10 seconds of uh, more than meets the eye. And uh, then it kind of shows you like what else you can do with the, the effects parts. I, I was asking earlier, oh, why are there two? Because you can attach them to the uh, the rocket booster to have them be the uh, rocket effects parts. Um, and then the, the bit from the anti-aircraft gun that comes out now becomes the... Uh, the base, there's, there's what you can do with the clear piece that I didn't know what it was, uh, so you can display him in all his heroic glory, which I'm hoping I can do if I can get this thing transformed. Um, then just the a little bit of making of, uh, showing some of the design specifications and the early prototype artwork. Uh, I have seen this original prototype at, uh, I want to say it was Wonderfest or the Tokyo Toy Show. And thinking, oh wow, that looks really cool. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pay all that money for it. And then, uh, well, here we are. So I'm gonna see if I can get this thing transformed, and I'll be right back. Wow, that 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 was an adventure, folks. That was uh, taking a quick look at my watch here. Uh, this. This almost, almost transformed uh, Optimus Prime Convoy 3.0. Uh, there are, I, I don't have it completely perfect. Uh, as you can see, this little tab, it does not want to plug in. Um, it's, uh, it's nice. It's super, super nice. Once you get it in, I mean, it, there's really almost no comparison. It's like, this is, this is as good as like the, 
the toy version you, you're gonna see, but this this really does look like it just stepped right out of the uh, season one, season two of the uh, of the cartoon. Um, it is an immensely, immensely frustrating uh, transformation sequence. Um, as I've as I've mentioned in this video a couple of times before, uh, thing sent me back 340 US dollars, 36,000 yen. Uh, MSRP is 50,000 yen. So you would think, you, you would maybe think that perhaps, perhaps, uh, Takara Tomi could include a, a color, color manual. That would have made this so much, so much better. Um, because, yeah, there are a lot a lot of moving parts on this. Uh, it's it defies belief how how intricate this is. Uh, follow, I mean, and if, if you can't read uh, Japanese, um, I'm I'm pretty good with with Japanese. Uh, but if, if you if you can't read Japanese, this is just an absolute nightmare to transform. Uh, gorgeous figure. I'm really going to enjoy having this on my shelf. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing um but yeah i'm i'm never never going to transform this uh ever again it is just just the the most painful thing in the world to to uh to do if you're a transformers fan uh but it's i mean it's it's very very tight the joints joints are clicky uh the the windows are translucent but you can't really see anything through them. Uh, a couple of things to watch out for when you're transforming this for the first time. A um, lot of moving parts. Uh, the, the joints are very clearly labeled in the instructions, which, which makes this uh, a little bit easier. Uh, but a lot of stuff is, is very unclear. Uh, transforming the, the legs, of course, is uh, just, just not, not a good time. But uh, getting the, the chest together is really, really crazy, and the instructions are, are, are not a lot of help. Um, but yeah, let me just run you through it. Here's, here, here's the one head, and this, this is what really tripped me up. Um, the head popped off the ball joint during transformation and kind of gummed up the works a little bit. Uh, I was really afraid to uh, mess up the, the ear parts by forcing it, so I had to really kind of finesse the thing out. Uh, but yeah, here's... Here's the one head. Um, I, I don't know the, uh, the the promo pics and even the box art made it look a lot flatter, a lot smoother than it really is. Um, but this looks very, very nice. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking uh, season one, season two, a little bit of movie influence in some of the heads. Um, yeah, just uh, overall, yeah. Pretty cool. My first impressions, incredibly frustrating transformation. Uh, very pretty. I'm going to stick this on my shelf, um, maybe play with it a little bit tomorrow morning to get a full review out. Um, but for now, um, yeah, if you're on the fence about it, uh, I, I mean, it's three, four, five hundred dollar toy. I can't really say if, if it's right for everybody or right for me. But uh, yeah, uh, hope, hope this helped a little bit. Um, Thanks, everybody. Take care and happy hobbying.